Hi. Now in this example, we need to prove that sine s minus sine t, all divided by sine s plus sine t, is identical to cot of s plus t all divided by 2 times the tan of s minus t over 2. Cot, remember, is short for cotangent, and uh, we've got tan here short for tangent. So, how do we prove this? Well, let's start with proof in the usual way. And I would start with the left-hand side, purely because, okay, we've got one term here, but you should recognize that what we're going to use is basically the factor formula. I'll explain in a moment as we copy the left-hand side out. So we have sine s plus sine t there. Okay, so what's this identical to? Well, I did mention the factor formally. Okay, it's very common to see uh, a mistake like this where people cancel out these two signs and try and cancel out these two signs here. You can't do that because you've got, you've got to have one term on the top, one term on the bottom, made up of factors, and then you can cancel out common factors. And we can achieve that by using the factor theorems. So, or factor identities. What are they? Well, you should know that if you've got the sine of an angle, let's call it A, minus the sine of another angle, let's call it B, this is identical to 2 cos of the sum of the two angles, in this case A plus B, but divided by 2, and then times the sine of the difference between the two angles, divided by 2. And also, since we're going to use it in the denominator here, you should know that if you get the sine of A plus the sine of another angle, let's call it B, then this is identical to 2 sine of A plus B over 2 times, this time, the cosine of A minus B over 2. So, fairly similar formula here, okay? Only when you have the plus, you start with the sine, and when you have the minus, you start with the cosine. Okay, so let's see how we can use these. Well, if we substitute for the S, well, I should say the, substitute the A as S and the B as T, then the top becomes the same as 2 cos of S plus T all over 2 times the sine of s minus t all over 2. And this is divided by the denominator here, which we can change using this identity here, replacing the a with an s and the b with a t. So we end up with 2 sine of s plus t over 2 and cosine of s minus t over 2. Now, We've got one term on the top, one term on the bottom. We've got common factors. We can see that the 2 is a common factor both here and here, so we can divide 2 into 2 goes 1. There's no other common factors, so what do we have? Well, we have the cosine of s plus t over 2 divided by the sine of s plus t over 2. And I'm going to write this separately now as the sine of s minus t over 2 divided by the cosine of s minus t over 2. So I've just kind of split this division as one fraction times another. Why have I done that? Well, you should know that if you've got the cosine of an angle divided by the sine of the same angle, this is the cotangent of that angle, or cot for short. So this becomes the cot of s plus t over 2. And here we've got the sine of an angle over the cosine of the same angle, which is tan of that angle. So this becomes the tan of s minus t over 2. So we have cot of s plus t over 2 multiplied by the tan of s minus t over 2, which is what we had to prove. 